Just 10 cents a day helps fund local programs like Scenic Stops, Northwest Ohio Journal, and BGSU Brain Game. Watch, connect, explore. The Olander Park System started in 1958. It services the Sylvania School District, which is the City of Sylvania, Sylvania Township, and 7,000 citizens of the City of Sylvania. Fossil Park started in September of 2001. It is one of six parks operated by the Olander Park System. It was one of only three parks of its type in the country. The other two were in Buffalo, New York and Rockville, Iowa. It has 375 million year old Devonian fossils. The cool thing about them is you can only find them in Devon, England, that's where the phrase Devonian comes from, and here in Sylvania, Ohio. So if you're a fossil geek, and fossil geeks are all over the world, you gotta either come to Devon, England, or Sylvania, Ohio. The Devonian era is roughly 350 to 375 million years old, and surprisingly enough for people from Ohio, what's really cool about those fossils is they're all water creatures because Ohio back then was located near the equator and it was all underwater. So of all the 15 to 20 fossils that you'll find here, every one is an underwater creature. So it just goes to show you how the world has changed over the course of evolution. The biggest creature that people want to find from the Devonian era is the trilobite. And if you find a really cool trilobite here in either the Devon, England area or the Sylvania area, you can get up to $500 to $800 for a trilobite. And if you ever go see the exhibit of the Devonian era in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., every one of those fossils was found right here in Sylvania, Ohio. Fossil Park is located about one mile to the north of the large working quarries operated by Hansen Aggregate Midwest Inc. Hansen Aggregate is the largest corporation on the planet. They are a worldwide operation where they dig for rock, for roadways, construction, and related business operations of that kind. So what Hansen did was they had this quarry here, which is a safe place for families, they worked with the park system in the city of Sylvania and said, how about if we bring this rock that everyone wants to dig in to this quarry and you allow families to come here in a nice safe place to dig for the rock. We thought that was a fabulous partnership. So they bring the rock to a nice safe place. The park system brings its front end loader and loads it up into the trucks. We bring it here to the quarry. As you can see with all the families and children here today, Everyone can safely come, dig for the fossils, find out what they got, look at the signs, talk to the naturalists, and take home the fossils. And it's worked really great for everyone into our 11th season now. The most common fossils that you'll find at Fossil Park are brachiopods. They are sea-like creatures. They look like seashells that you would find on the beach. And we find tons of those. We also find a good amount of trilobites. They are a little more less common to find full ones, but we find pieces of them and um, either inside a rock or separate. We also find a lot of crinoids, which were sea lilies. And if, um, either the top, which is a sponge-like coral, or the bottom, which is a stem, um, they're made up of little segments that are flat Cheerios, we call them, and you can find them flat by themselves or stacked up. We have programs that are sponsored by our park system every once in a while where we bring out our professionals to come out and talk to the kids, the families, and then have them on staff out here while they dig so that they can help identify what they find. And we also offer field trips in spring and fall for junior high, um, elementary school kids to come out with a professional to give them a little rundown and then come out and dig and identify during the school day, which is a lot of fun for them. Fossil Park is very supported by our community. We have a lot of people that come out during the weekdays, um, 
all weekends during the summer are very busy. Children like to come out, parents will bring their kids, they, grandparents come out and bring their children. Uh, they have a lot of fun, they get them in the dirt, moving around, and they're always excited with what they can find here. Fossil Park has been in existence for 11 years. People always ask me, when will the park be complete? The life of a community park is never complete. However, I can tell you Fossil Park's immediate improvement will be a rock and boulder shaped playground will be in place in the next year because the park does not have a playground and playgrounds are essential. And also it's so important for kids to get more exercise than ever before and the boulder shaped playground, you got to climb up the boulders, you have to use your muscle, you have to sweat, you have to exert some exertion to get your body going. So that playground will really make you climb to the top, so to speak. So that will be the new and immediate improvement to Fossil Park. Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org pledge.